Um, I think it's very important that in, in demonstrating the value of social science, we also demonstrate its quality. The social science research base in this country is world class. It's second only to the United States. And how do we know? Well, we know because the research councils, and Phil Subin's here somewhere from ESRC, these days from time to time have to undertake international benchmarking studies of the quality of different disciplines as part of their input into comprehensive spending reviews and such matters. And the most recent one demonstrated very, very clearly indeed that in this country we have a genuinely world-class social science base. Why is that therefore not reflected in, the, in, a, in a higher public profile for the social sciences and a better understanding of who we are and what we do? Well, that's the gap which the campaign <coughs> intends to remedy. I think probably we're in a situation now in the social science research community that STEM subjects were uh, 15 or 20 years ago when I was at the ESRC, where they too felt undervalued, unappreciated, a uh, lack of public understanding of what uh, STEM scientists uh, undertook. And I think we can learn from the way in which, through a sustained uh, campaign of public engagement, not just private and political lobbying, uh, the STEM subjects and the learning societies which represent them have very much taken forward uh, not only a public understanding of science, but a higher esteem of all that science and technology subjects have to offer to the contribution to the new knowledge economy. Now, the new knowledge economy, of course, in the new knowledge economy, it is absolutely vital uh, that we continue to improve the capacity of STEM research and of STEM students. But I hope, especially for this audience, it goes without saying that the new knowledge economy doesn't rely in solely upon STEM knowledge. The new knowledge economy involves the qualities of innovation, creativity and enterprise across all disciplines and we need to continue producing generations of students and researchers who have those qualities and can contribute to the wider knowledge economy in terms of management, design, creativity, social impact, social change, understanding the under, social underpinnings of markets and so on and so forth. So we want to see and position the social sciences at the heart of the knowledge economy, not on the periphery. And to do that, I think we need to engage in the same kind of public engagement which the sciences and engineering subjects have engaged in for a number of years.